wanted to be a good father. Looking through photos of his father, Del Watts, Darren and his mother, Celeste, reflect on the impact his secret obsession had on the family. At the beginning, he, he didn't seem to be hoarding anything, but the collection kind of became insidious in the house. And, uh, you know, seeing my mother and father fight about it and, you know, realizing that other parents didn't do this, you know, this was unique to him, that it got a little bit, uh, it got a bit strange for us. That's, that's, that's me and him. Dale was an attorney who started collecting items over 50 years ago, each of them locked and hidden in rooms for years around the family home. Everybody knew we weren't supposed to talk about it. The hoarding was embarrassing for the Watts family and Celeste says it led to their divorce. He was just just sad to live with. He found that as a way to connect. Darren and his mother never knew exactly what was inside the boxes. All they knew was that there may have been some popular comics. Del Watts, who also had Asperger's, died last year, leaving his son with the collection that still leaves Darren in shock. This is one of our three shipping containers full with uh, comics cards. Darren says his father amassed over a million items in total. They're all in incredible shape. You know, he bought these all at the same time. It's a collection he discovered contains some of the most sought after comic books in the world. Some so valuable, he stores them in a safe. This is the Holy Grail right here. This is our best book. And Superman 1, the 7.0. That's the third nicest copy of this book on the planet. Well, first appearance of uh, Iron Man ever. It looked a little different back then. And Darren's father didn't stop there. Pete Rose rookie card. This is uh, the second year of Mickey Mantle. Second year. You know, he, he didn't just stop it. You know, we have old toys, original Star Wars toys that were bought direct from the store, preserved. It was more staggering to find out that he had multiple copies of so many of these items that uh, people just usually did not collect that way. So that, that power of forethought was, was something that I, I looked back and smiled on and said, geez, Dad, it's amazing. There might have been a plan, we just don't know what it was. Darren is now exposing this family secret and uncovering it to the world, traveling the country, finding that many of the comic books and other collectibles bring joy to so many people. I mean, you know, you're completely just erasing um, uh, that narrative of it being secret and hidden and prude uh, to, hey, enjoy this, share in it. And it's just like a cloud has been lifted. I mean, it's just, uh, it's just no comparison. He's just doing the opposite of what his dad did, which was wonderful. It's just funny looking through the old stuff of how many things are uh, dressed up as Superman or Superman related. And Darren says he resented his father for his obsession over this collection, but now that. what used to bring the family shame is something that now brings great pride for Darren and his family. If I could talk to my dad today, um, <laughs> I guess I'd say, Dad, you did it. You know, I mean, all of that pain and, and struggle and, and investment, um, you did something really great, man. And uh, I just wish you were here to witness this with us. And sorry for those technical difficulties earlier, but Darren is beginning to auction off some of the most valuable pieces in this collection, including the first Batman comic book. That's going to be sold at an auction starting March 30th. The bid for that book is over $300,000. The Watts family story is also going to be featured in an upcoming documentary called Selling Superman. We're going to have a trailer for you to watch on our website at cbsnewsdetroit.com. And we're also going to have a link to my GoFundMe because I'm going to be raising money to try to buy that Batman book. <laughs> <laughs> right? I saw the shirts. It looks pretty cool from the documentary. I just love that story, though. You know, it took, you know, until after his death, unfortunately, the father. But the appreciation and kind of the yeah. poetic nature of they right. finally get what it was all about. And the fact that they thought it was a problem, but it really turned out to be something so beautiful yeah. and lucrative. Exactly. And Darren said that his, his dad knew that these would become valuable one day. And that's what he thought justified his reason yeah. for hoarding. And but he, he never right. knew <laughs> that his Superman volume one would be one of the most sought after books in the not only just the country, but the world. And it's worth that's going to be auctioned off, too. Yeah. That's worth a lot of money. And now as well. that collection is taking care of his family. That's sure. a beautiful. And thing. they still don't even know what they have. They're wow. still finding stuff yeah. all these years later. Great story. Thank you Thank very you. much, Thank Ray. You.